Imagine you're a wheat farmer and your field looks like this. Notice those large patches of yellow amidst the green? This could be caused by disease or something else entirely. Upon closer inspection, we can see that part of this field has been infected by the yellow rust of wheat disease, which is also commonly known as stripe rust of wheat. This disease reduces both grain quality and grain yield. The disease is caused by the fungus Puccinia striiformis tridici. The common names of the disease are derived from the main symptom, iridinia that take the form of yellow stripes on the leaf blade. These yellow lesions can also be found on other plant parts, including leaf sheaths and spikes. Iridinia are pustules that form on the surface of leaves and bear iridiniospores. The primary hosts of this disease are breadwheat and durmweed. However, other species of stripe rust can also infect barley and wild grasses. Puccinia striiformes is a biotrophic fungus, meaning the pathogen requires living plant cells to grow and reproduce. The pathogen also requires cooler temperatures, developing best and causing the most infection at 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. Germination of the uridiniospores also requires high humidity and temperatures below 15 degrees. Pictured here are ungerminated stripe rust uridiniospores under a microscope at 200 times magnification. They appear oval shaped and have mean dimensions of 24 by 21 micrometers. Once germinated, the germ tubes of the spores enter the plant through the stomata. In susceptible cultivars of wheat, the mycelium of the pathogen can continue to spread throughout the leaf, parallel to the leaf edge and following the venation of the leaf. This results in the yellow stripe-shaped iridinia that are the namesake of the disease. Each striped pustule contains millions of spores, and these spores can continue to infect host plants throughout the season. The latent period of this disease, which is the time between infection and the onset of symptoms, is slightly shorter than two weeks. The next stage after the uridinia stage is the telia stage, where the pustules turn dark and produce teliospores. This is an asexual stage in the life cycle, and if environmental conditions are not too cold, these spores can overwinter and then restart the cycle in the next spring. Sexual stages can also appear in alternative hosts, if the conditions are right. Here at the Serial and Flax Pathology Lab of the University of Saskatchewan, stripe rust is one of the plant diseases that researchers work with. Tests requiring controlled environments are performed in the Phytotron facility, which is one of the largest of its kind in the world. Since stripe rust is a biotrophic fungus, the production of inoculum for experiments is done in growth chambers. Susceptible cultivars are inoculated at the seedling stage using an air compressor. Two weeks after inoculation, there should be an abundance of spores, and the stripe rust will be ready for rust harvesting. 